Hi everybody, it's Ann Patchett at Parnassus Books. And if you haven't read this book, it's new to you. This was a book that I hadn't read that was new to me. My friend Meg Mason, who wrote Sorrow and Bliss, I know sometimes you must get a little exhausted me talking about how much I love Meg Mason and Sorrow and Bliss, but she sent me something from VanityFair.com, books we can't stop thinking about. And her book was in the picture. Um, Sorrow and Bliss, and my book, Bel Canto, was in the picture, old book, and the other book that was in the picture was Heartburn by Nora Ephron. Now, I saw the movie, but I had never read the book, so I decided to read the book, but in this little Vanity Fair thing, it said that the audiobook was incredible. Who reads the audiobook for Heartburn? Our pal in Laurel Street. Now, we can say our pal. That's kind of hard to say. Our pal Meryl Street. We can say that because she's recording the audiobook for Tom Lake. And this article talked about how extraordinary the audiobook is for Heartburn. The book, extraordinary, just re released with a new introduction by Stanley Tucci. Or you can listen to it. Now, here is the thing that I want to tell you that you might not know. You should know Audible is owned by Amazon. Now, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you're not okay with that, you could order Heartburn from Libro FM. Libro FM is a different choice for audiobooks that actually kicks back to local independent bookstores. So you can put in your local independent bookstore, maybe it's Parnassus, and when you buy the audiobook of Heartburn, read by Meryl Street from Libro FM, then we get a little kickback for it. The important thing though, is that you read this book because it is so funny, it will make you laugh through your nose. Thank you so much.